Iron Eyed, welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 4, where we left off. Apparently, we ran into <laughs> we ran into you in the forest, and uh, Marina fainted. <laughs> so yeah, that was a uh, that was interesting. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, by the looks of it, we are heading back to the beach house. So uh, let's get right back into it. After the excitement at the abandoned shrine, our party returns to AU's beach house with our plus one. You tags along behind us like a perpetuant child. Her head's hanging. The Fumi whips you up something to eat while we return, which you falls upon Revenous her hunger satiated, she then pays me a visit in my room. Yu is no longer attired in skin-tight succubus outfit, nor her bikini. She's clad instead in a sweet, almost demure, white dress with a blue sash tied about the front. The sash is almost the same color as her eyes, and her dark hair hair contrasts nicely with the pale fabric of her dress. That is a beautiful dress. That is a beautiful dress. And tapped in with a butterfly hairpin. That is actually adorable. Oh my god. I let you into my room and she takes a seat upon the side of my bed. Several times, she opens her mouth as though she means to say something. But in the end, she's unable to get any words out. She's acting very strangely, thought Nan. Though not, I note with some relief, as strangely as she acted when I first found her. Something must be amiss. I wonder what that could be. Are you alright, you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I should probably away to my own room. A you said she would prepare one for me, but I thought at first I would like to speak to you. I hope it is no intrusion. You isn't acting at all how I am accustomed to. In the Succubus realm, she was demanding, forceful even. Back then, she had no qualms in exerting her dominance over others. Now, however, she seems the complete opposite. Perhaps that's because we're in the human world, not the Succubus realm? She's pretending to be an ordinary person, not a princess, and she's been stripped of much of her pump. She was pretty awkward when I first met her a date, Katie Goo. When she was masquerading as an ordinary high school girl called Yuki. She didn't have many or any friends. And she never spoke to anybody apart from me. I thought... She was a loaf, but I might have been mistaken. It's possible she was simply shy. It's not an intrusion at all. I'm glad I got the chance to see you again. Really? Oh, look at her face. She was not expecting that. I told you she just wanted to see us. Come on, Hideki, you should have already known that. Yes, really. <laughs> it wouldn't be much of a holiday if I couldn't spend it with all of my girlfriends. I like the others an awful lot, but <laughs> you're special to me too, you. You were my very first girlfriend, and I still cherish you. Even though I was so thoughtlessly possessive, even so, 
We've moved past that. It's water under the bridge. I understand you were acting out because of jealousy, and you sincerely apologized. I'm not going to hold it against you. That is a relief. It's been a long time since I last saw you. I have been awfully busy with work. I begin to worry. In truth, I wanted to come on vacation with you very much, but it was not just my sense of duty which deterred me. I was afraid if I came, I would spoil things for you. I behaved very selfishly when I took you to the succubus realm. I took you against my will and held you captive. Now, as much as I hated you for that specifically, I have forgave her over the years because technically she's still my ex and she was also Hideki's very first girlfriend. So I can't really put that against her, honestly. So jealousy comes with territory and um, I shouldn't blame her for that. I dominated you every waking hour and tried to keep you away from the others. It was wrong of me. I would not usually act in so rash a manner, particularly not for the sake of a human, but I cannot think clearly when I am with you. My judgment evaporates, as does my sense of right and wrong. I still love you after all these years, but that does not excuse what I did. I wished to punish myself. I suppose by keeping away f from you and hiding away in the succubus realm but I was curious and I found myself watching you and the others from afar you look like you were having so much fun I could no longer stand it my resolve crumbled and I came to see you but I was so hasty I made a grave error I got lost and made a fool out of myself you must think me so stupid. <sighs> I swear that royal tongue of yours is going to give me an issue, but I can't really blame you for that. And no. Kind of makes sense, really. You are still young. Fumi even said that, so I can't really take that against your own will on that one, so. Stupid? No, silly. Well, maybe. As a young person to make a mistake, I think it was silly, obviously, but stupid, no. It's nothing to beat yourself over, though. We all make mistakes. And like I said, I'm glad you decided to stop by. I felt like something was missing without you. Don't think you need to stay away from me. I don't want you punishing yourself or making yourself unhappy. I far prefer seeing you smile. Oh, Hideki. You're so cool. <laughs> there she is. There's that cute smile. I have met other human men in my time, but none stir my heart as you do. That's why I fell for you, and I believe I may be falling still. Every time we meet, I find myself loving you even more. I missed you. So, so much. I missed you too. You leans in. Our face are inches apart. Our lips almost brushing wind. Lady you! It's been so long. I'm so glad to see you again. Hazel comes in, bounding into our room. A flurry of excitement, puppyish eye or puppish energy. <sighs> she is wearing her casual clothes when she threw my door open, but her appearance shifts like ripple water upon seeing you. Horns spout out from her head and a tail prudes from her back. This tail wags back and forth, which makes her look more like a puppy than ever. Her green eyes, meanwhile, are positively sparkling. Oh my gosh, you're not in the succubus outfit right anymore? 
You're wearing a white dress. <laughs> it's all frilly, too. You look like a fairy. I've never seen you wear anything like that, Lady You. Not in all my days. I, you're so cute. Nothing beats one of on those squeezy cheeks of yours. You're the best. It's good to see you too, Hazel, but... You begins, but Hazel cuts her off. She dives head first at AU, her peerless idol, and knocks her over backwards onto the bed. You're so cute. I want to kiss you all <laughs> here and here and here. She is really losing it. God help me, Hazel. <laughs> you can't really help yourself, can you? Oh, God, girl. You haven't been here for 20 minutes. And you're doing this. <laughs> Calm down! Oh, God, help me. <sighs> Hazel nuzzles Yu's cheek while the flustered Yu tries to throw her off. God, help me. <laughs> Hazel, please. This is the most undignified. There's no way to treat your superior. Remember who I am and unhand me. Else I use my magic to turn you into a toad. Uh oh, I'm sorry. The threat helps resolve Hazel in her senses. Her adore douses. She draws away from you. Her succubus attire fades as her frenzy does. And Gal, she helps pull you up. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> it's been such a while I couldn't help myself. And you really do look adorable. It's no wonder Hideki's crazy about you. I am too. I'm your biggest fan. I thank you. That is very kind of you to say, but you cast me aside. Wave glance. Hideki and I were in the middle of something. Oh, yeah? Hazel grins. Are things getting hot and steamy? Should I not have interrupted? <laughs> no, they were not. I meant to kiss him until you interrupted. A kiss, huh? That is better than poking the eye with a sharp stick. But since you and Hideki are reuniting, don't you want to do something a little more, you know? Hazel makes a lewd hand gesture. I don't mind at all that what's going on. I'm kind of dumb, but I'm not totally dense, and I can take a hint. If you'd rather be alone, I get it. I can leave. It has been a while since I saw you last, though you, I, so I am wondering. Hazel smiles, her index fingers pressed together. Do you mind if I join in too? This is a real touching reunion. And I wouldn't mind doing a bit of touching, too. Doesn't that sound like fun? I think it does. Hazel, you are not helping the situation. By the way, I, I'm... In case you guys are wondering where the meter is, and thank God if the meter's still there, I'm still blushing! Anyway. <sighs> Almost red, but I'm trying to contain myself because she's actually making me... And, and unfortunately, she's making me heavily, heavily flush. And I'm in the exact same position as you. Like, can you stop? Hmm. Well, I had hoped Hideki and I could have some alone time. But you smooth down her white skirt and then adjust her hair, which got a bit tangled during the tussle with Hazel. You did teach me back in the succubus realm that... Some pleasure can be only be experienced if one is willing to share. As much as I love Hideki, I do not want to be too controlling. I have tried to take Ayu's teaching to heart, though it is funny. I never once imagined that a girl had anything worthwhile to say, let alone learn, and well, you returns Hazel's eager smile with a decidedly most hesitant one of her own. I suppose I would not be opposed to the idea. What do you say, Hideki? Like I'm going to refuse. I was about to say, when the fuck is this motherfucker gonna refuse? Hello? One attractive woman's all well and good, and you is very, very good looking, but two attractive women are even better. I'm a bit tired of today's event, but I'm not so tired I'd pass up an opportunity like this. Holidays exist so we can enjoy ourselves. And that... That 
exactly what I intend to do. I am going to end it here. This is going to be a crazy series, I tell you. Oh my goodness. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to to the channel. It's been Zed. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.